In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this painting over here and I'm going to give you some insider tips on how to get these certain colours and textures on the canvas. Hey everyone, I'm Bella from Bella's Art Studio and on my channel I do lots of videos on beginner tutorials and also some more advanced artist demonstrations. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to paint this painting and we're going to be using foil and also a spatula knife and a few paint brushes for this part. This is one of the beginner tutorials so you get to learn how how I paint on a very small and simpler scale. For example, the painting behind me is like a very complicated version of something like this and it's actually my newest Lux painting and I'm so excited to release it. I haven't finished it yet but I'm doing a full YouTube um, time lapse of it so I'll be posting that too soon. For the trees I want to use Venetian Red and Mars Violet. These are my two favourite colours to mix together for red trees. And I want to be using oops, Burnt Umber which is a nice warm tone and I want to use this colour to warm down the black and I'll be using Mars Black. These paintings are not really planned, so sometimes I just get random ideas and change my mind. So, my long spatula, smaller spatula, my two favourite brushes, a small and a medium, two sponges, and a sponge. I'm going to use this one instead today. The first thing I want to do is coat the canvas with white. Isn't that the worst thing when you're trying to get a hair out of your painting? It doesn't come out, and then you end up ruining your whole painting. So we want the middle to be super white and I'm going to start making my shadow colour. So I'm going to get some of the burnt umber. Start bringing it in from here. I'm going to wet my canvas as well just to make it more easier for me to blend. Okay, and we're already nearly out of white. Now I'm going to go in with the black, just a tiny little bit of black, such a strong colour. Mix it with the brown, start blending this in. I'm kind of wanting a bit darker. Alright, if you've been on my channel before, you know that I'm not really fussed about things being perfect as my normal style is super abstract, so nothing is ever really perfect. Oh, I still want a little bit darker. So just mixing up darker, darker, darker. All right, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm just gonna get a big dollop of white and pull it down through the middle. Don't worry about it too much because this is all gonna be covered later. They're gonna be covered by trees. Softly pull it down, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and now I'm gonna go in and blend that corner because the paint seems to have dried. And I wanna add a little bit of a darker shadow to that corner. I'm gonna bring my spatula out and I'm going to start blocking in some trees. So these are going to be in the distance, so let's say they're going to be like a greyish colour, so not too dark. All right, so putting it at the tip, Just gonna do these lines in random places. I'm not really putting that much thought into it. And this is where I'm gonna add in the background red color. 
I just want it to be really light though. And the Mars Violet. After we've done that, I'm going to go in and add in some trees in the foreground. We're going to do them coming lower and lower. Now we're going to add some branches to the tree. So we're going to go in with Mars Violet first and we're going to add in nice and thickly some foreground trees and then add in some Venetian red over the top of that. Getting lighter in, as it goes off into the distance. And then I just want to grab some white and break it up. Some more white, break it up there, perhaps there. And doing the same over the other side.
Okay, so from this point here, we're gonna need some more fresh white. Dig the palette knife and we're going to make a horizon. There. And this is defining where each tree starts. Using a small sponge, we want to grab the white. I'm running out of mixing space and a little bit of the brown and we just want to bring that across. What we want to do is add our main person. So we're going to start off with blocking in an, an umbrella shape. It's going to be in red. Let's see how we go, because the canvas is still quite wet. Okay, so now we're gonna do just impression of the girl. I just realized I didn't put any skin colors at the start of the tutorial, so we're gonna have to make a skin color. So I'm gonna keep it super simple. Burnt sienna, raw sienna, Mix them together for satisfactory skin colour. Running out of palette space. Things are getting messy. It's nearly time to call this one done, I think. And it looks like we're going to have to wait for this to dry and then you know, do another layer because it's not behaving too well. A red dress to match her red umbrella, which will match her red trees. This is going to be very impressionistic. And we're going to add a heel on her. Alright, so we're going to fix her dress up a little bit. I'm literally going to make it a bit abstract, so I'm just going to grab like all these colours. I'm just like doing, doing swirls. Oh yes, that is decent. Alright, she kind of looks like she has one leg though, so we're gonna have to add in another leg, unfortunately. While we're here, we're just gonna add in an arm. Normally when I do people, I literally take like days to do people. So this is definitely a little bit different to what I'm normally used to doing. Just gonna grab like random colors and make a purse.
grab my finger, dip it in the white. There we go, that's going to be a shadow. Now I want to go in and add some hair, grab the brown. Now we're going to go in and fill in the umbrella. Looks like the paint's dried a bit better. Just keep working on it until you're happy with the tones. This is only a beginner tutorial, so anything goes really. You can stop at any point, you can change it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and check the notification bell. That way you'll be updated on all my new tutorials. And let me know what you think in the comments and if you have any suggestions on what to paint next. I also have a Facebook group that has like four members. It is called Bella's Art Studio Artists Only. So if you did do this tutorial and painted this picture, I would love for you to join the Facebook group and then post your end product. I would love to see it. And yeah, in saying that, I will see you in the next video. See you later.